What's up guys? Welcome to the Crypto Savvy channel. I'm Craig. We're going to be going over the charts and seeing what we might be able to expect for the day, the week, and the month. Definitely stick around for the whole video. I also have a special chart I want to show you guys at a pattern I'm looking at and I want to get your guys' opinion on it. So definitely stick around for the whole video. Make sure you scroll down, smash those thumbs up, leave your comments down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and Make sure you tick your notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. Also, share it if you would. All right, looking at the Dow Jones, as you guys know, uh, we've been watching this. As long as we remain below this top trend line, uh, which if it was to go straight up today, and we keep an eye on this trend line every day, would be around 31, or I'm sorry, 34 34.2, 34.1 area. If we break above that, then we may have some more real upside, but until that happens, I'm still looking for more downside. We did get a nice little rally last week, but let's see. If we were to rally up today, the highest I would see us going is around 33,722. I would expect a rejection there. As you guys know, I'm looking for the one-to-one -one extension down here, at least this 32.2 range. Uh, once this breaks, then we can look for the 30,888 range. Uh, if that breaks, then we have much lower lows to go. But as you guys know, I think... Uh, the macro in traditional markets is very, very bearish. All right, let's take a look at the DXY. So the DXY, we did not open and close below the 0.382 Fib yet or above. So still just ranging in this area until it makes an open and close above. Then we get really bullish on the DXY. Open and close below, we could have a little bit more pullback. Uh, but as you guys know, we pointed out the three white soldiers back here when it happened a couple weeks ago. Told you to look for more upside, and that's exactly what we're getting. As you guys know, if you watch my videos, I'm very bullish on the DXY. The monthly, so last month we concluded that our hidden bearish divergence was confirmed here, right? So that is an indication of much more downside. Many things point bearish. I know a lot of the bulls are pulling out all kinds of stuff saying it's bullish. But guys, there is nothing bullish in the macro yet. There has not been a macro reversal. As you guys know, we're watching the weekly for a open and close above the 55 EMA, which we have not gotten yet. Uh, another thing that could be forming here is a uh, reversal triangle right here. Uh, that doesn't mean we can't go up, right? And we don't know where this top line is yet. But we do know if we break this bottom trend line, which is around 22.2, we break that again, chances are we have quick downside. And we'll talk more about that. But right now, let's look at the hidden bearish divergence on the weekly. Right here, we had slightly higher highs in the price action, lower highs in the RSI. There was even bigger hidden bearish divergence right here. As you can see, we continued making higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price action. That is hidden bearish divergence for a continuation of the downside. Um, remember, everything depends on the, the traditional markets. So if they have a little rally, then Bitcoin will either hold or maybe get a little rally too. We'll take a look at those target areas. If you guys are interested in trading, check out my sponsor, Prime XBT, by far my favorite exchange. They don't trade against you. You can trade crypto, Forex, gold, silver, oil, S&P, Dow Jones, everything all from one exchange. There's also a copy trading section and a contest section where you can trade for free and actually learn to use the platform without any risk. So if you're interested, you can use my promo code SAVVY50. That'll get you up to $7,000 bonus. SAVVY25 will get you 25% off your fees. Link is down below. I'll also leave a tutorial at the end of the video. All right, looking at the daily. So as you guys know, in the very, very, very bullish case, we could wake up to the 31.5. But remember, First, we would have to see a weekly open and close above this 25.8 to start looking for this. If we do get up here, that would be a great short position. But uh, right now, we're battling with this area right here and currently right around that 24, uh, 24 to 24 3 area. If we do break this, you can see we're getting support on the 55 EMA on the weekly. If we break that, our next support's around 21.8 which is the 200 EMA, then this would probably become our resistance and then a continuation to the downside, right? If we break this 18,000 area, then I'm looking for around 13.3. If that breaks, I'm looking for the false bottom between 75 and 9,500. Get a big rally again, get everyone bullish just like this one did. 
and then continuation to the downside. I do believe our bottom will be sometime in September or October of this year, possibly as low as 35 to 4,500, right? As you can see in the RSI here, we've broken the RSI trend line on the daily. Um, I do expect us to come down to these levels before getting a massive bounce. So it's something to keep an eye on. There's still plenty of time in the market. Um, if you guys, oh yeah, definitely check this out too. Link is down below. This is my wife's webpage, inkyourimage.com. Uh, a lot of cool stuff on here, guys. Make sure you check it out. All right, let's look at the four hour and then we're going to take a look at that chart I was talking about. We'll also be taking a look at silver and gold. Uh, definitely stick around for that. And then we'll look at my Binance BNB chart that I think it's showing massive trouble for BNB, which is massive trouble for Bitcoin. For, or, I'm sorry, massive trouble for Binance. All right, looking at this, remember when we broke this up here, I told, well, before we broke it, that was a couple weeks ago. I told you if this broke, expect to come down to. This 22,250 level, we did, and we even wicked below it. See, we broke this bottom trend line here on the rising broadening, broadening wedge, bounced back above it. But once we break something like this, chances are we're going to break it in a big way. Um, if we look at just this area here, right? So first, let's talk about the bullish case. The bullish case, we come up, look around, first rejection around 23. Uh, then we have this top trend line right here in the center at 23, 350-ish, right? If we do get up to this range, expect a massive rejection. That may be tomorrow uh, with the Fed speaking. We'll see what happens there. But remember, if this bottom trend line is broke, we open and close four hour below, then you can look for that 18,000. It may come very quick, so be careful. Doesn't have to, but it could. I drew this in here about a month ago, talking about what it may look like, just to show you how this stuff takes time. As you can see, it seems to be playing out again. Look for these as rejection areas if we get a pump. But to get a pump, the traditional markets need to do well, right? Uh, but that's what I'm looking for there. This will be a prime, the next big bounce area, although I do think we're going to go much lower. But um, yeah, trade the trend, right? All right, so this is the chart I wanted to talk about. As you can see here, this looks an awful lot like an Adam and Eve, which this looked like down here, right? Let's put this on here. You can see the Adam and Eve pattern, right? This is inverse. Uh, this usually shows tops and bottoms. Let me turn it upside down. And if the bulls seen a chart like this, what would they call it? Let me see right here. Invert. Looks pretty bullish, right? Um, that's definitely looks like an inverse Adam and Eve, which came down to our lows down here, which is our highs. Looks like we have much further to go up, right? So be careful here, guys. You can see what happened to this one. Boom, that was pretty massive, pretty fast. I think we could see the same thing here. Um, Amazon compared to Bitcoin chart, as you guys know, I still think this is very valid. Uh, we were expecting a false bottom sometime in March, February or March. February's passed, but March still is here. I do think we'll probably still get our false bottom, get a rally up, a big rally to get everyone bullish again before coming down, right? So keep a very close eye on this. Um, this is my bottoming area here. This is sometime in September, October. Another bubble pop pattern. As you can see, we always have this big false rally. This one was 65% in Nintendo. This was 65% in Bitcoin. Same type of pattern, guys. If it was to play out like more like this over here, then we would be looking for around 76 as our bottom in September, October. Then we have Sony, Sony here. We had a couple big false rallies in Sony. Uh, if that was the case, it would be around 40, 43, one, somewhere in that range for the bottom, right? So all these are showing the same pattern. Guys, you guys know I'm a huge pattern fan. Here's my Binance uh, BNB chart compared to the FTT chart. BNB is showing massive. Now, does that mean it goes straight down from here? No, it could play out and play in this lower range here for another couple months before continuing down to the downside. But I think this is going to be a catalyst for a, a hard drop when this does happen, if this does happen, right? Gold, gold, our gold chart has not changed. We got rejected here at our FIB level, 236, uh, which is just looking at this as a possible ABC. If that happens, it's 5 1559 guys this chart is about two years old or close to it um we've had this target for a very long time if this breaks then we're looking for around the 14 
hundred range. If that breaks, it can get very ugly for gold. We'll talk about that if it happens. Silver, this chart is also about a year and a half old. We've been looking for this 15.6. Uh, if that 15.6 breaks, it's gonna get ugly for silver, all depending on what the traditional markets do, right? So I just wanted to point that out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash those thumbs up. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Also, share the video if you would. And don't forget to tick those notification bells to get you notified when I post new videos every day. Uh, also, I wanted to show one more thing right here. You can see this hidden bearish divergence, higher highs in the RSI, lower highs in the price action in silver. You can also see that in gold right here, right? So just be careful, guys. Things are not looking as pretty as the bulls would like you to think. So have a great day. I'm out.